In these days during this pandemic, almost all schools are turning to online learning. I have personally felt the effects and changes of it, and so have you. I have also been researching many different types of learning for the past couple of weeks now. Every student learning in America has been affected by this pandemic. But do we even know the effects that it's having on our educational system in America? Today I'll be giving you my personal story and input on the America education as it went online. I will also answer an important question with research that will give great insight and understanding about the topic of online learning. I was born and raised in Mesa, Arizona, and earlier this year I was accepted into EVU with a scholarship, and I am currently taking four fully online classes, and I love them. Also, I graduated high school top 10% of my class with a 4.21 GPA, and I never really took an online class until college. But in early February, COVID-19 broke out, and all around the world there was panic and fear, and this caused all public places to close, including schools. Online learning has been the global solution to education uh, because of this pandemic for over seven months now. I was a senior in high school when COVID hit and I was robbed of my senior prom, graduation, graduation, and my final year of volleyball. I felt it was unfair, but now I want to find out if going online was unfair for all students and if it affected them negatively. My question that I want to answer with you is, what are the positive and negative effects of e-learning? But first, I want to show you something. This is a Zoom meeting, and you've probably all seen one of these, or been in one, in one of your classes. But, and this is how most students are learning right now. But, this is my little brother, Luke. <laughs> he's not getting very much out of his class, and uh, he's actually sleeping through his meeting. So... What I want to do with you today is I want to find out how the majority of the people felt about online learning compared to classroom learning. And this is because I personally don't believe online learning is that bad unless you're like my brother Luke where you don't pay attention. I have had great success with my online classes, unlike Luke. <laughs> I, will, I think we have all asked if online classes were better for us when we were at an 8 o'clock when we w had to wake up for an 8 o'clock Zoom meeting and we have no idea what the teacher's talking about and it's pretty glitchy. Personally, I think on-demand classes where there's zo no Zoom meetings are a lot better than only getting one chance to go into the meeting and it might be super glitchy and you might miss a lot of the class. But I believe researching and seeing how real students reacted to this monumental change earlier this year is how we are going to see this question of what are the positive and negative effects of online learning really be answered. Now let's dig into some research. One of the biggest problems is perfectly outlined in Loeb's research paper, How Effective is Online Research? He says, in the online setting, students may have more distractions and less oversight, which can reduce their motivation, like my brother Luke. This is a massive problem because more students will slack off, as Loeb said, so their motivation, so will their motivation. Surprisingly, something on the positive side was actually found in a study by, done by the U.S. Department of Education. They said the overall finding of the meta-analysis is that classes with online learning on average produce stronger student learning outcomes than do classes that are solely face-to-face. -face. So. On a positive note, if all students try their best in an online learning, this actually produced better results. Unlike Luke, where he didn't try very hard and he's actually asleep, so he's not going to get the best results. One more piece of research that I'd like to present to you is from Paul J. and Jefferson F. They they concluded that the biggest struggle for students in an online setting is actually interacting with their teachers and asking questions. This is a big part of learning and students will suffer if they're unable to interact, Paul said. Each of these reasons, good or bad, really helped me understand what the positive and negative effects of online learning are. I personally have experienced all three of these findings and believe in the research these men and women have found out for us. Online learning has been a huge part of our lives for the past year, and uh, 
Personally, I've loved having my classes online, but some students might say otherwise. We don't know when classes will go back to normal, so we need to either find a way to either bring classes back or make e-learning more effective. Online classes have proven to be more efficient, a more efficient way to teach, and I've definitely gotten a lot better grades myself, but I find myself being distracted a lot and assignments taking longer, and I haven't really been communicating with my teacher really at all, and uh, online classes are great in some ways, but they also have a lot of downsides. After researching and personally dealing with the switched online classes, I now believe that if you put in the work and wake up for that Zoom meeting, you can do well. But if you're like my little brother, Luke, uh, you will get the attendance grade, but your grades will suffer. Thank you so much for listening to me. Have a great day.